this isn't really the funnest video topic to go out there and talk about, but I feel like it is somewhat important to highlight just, you know, the equality here. Because when some teams are doing poorly, we highlight how bad they are. And when other teams are doing as poorly, sometimes they kind of slip under the radar. And with this story here, the Calgary Flames, it plays in very well with the news we had yesterday coming out of Florida and a player who was doing extraordinarily well over there. So... Without further ado, we're going over the Calgary Flames in today's video, and we're also talking about Sam Bennett of the Florida Panthers. Now, the reason we're making this video, firstly, is because of a Reddit post I saw here posted onto our hockey, and it kind of highlights just the disparity in terms of the way we, as a collective hockey fan base, talk about teams in Alberta. Why is nobody talking about the Calgary Flames? Posted by a user named Connor. It seems like Edmonton's recent slide has been the topic of discussion for the last three weeks, which is fair. However, Calgary has quietly lost eight of their last ten games, all in regulation, and nine in their last thirteen. It seems like Alberta is collectively taking a massive dump, but the flames are flying under the radar. Now, the first comment kind of sums everything up in a very funny way. Nice try, McDavid, because... The original poster's username is Connor, kind of saying, hey, why is everybody talking about Edmonton, which is fair, but nobody is talking about Calgary, who is also doing as poorly. The Calgary Flames this season, if you go over to the NHL standings, are not great. You take a look at the Pacific Division and you see the Calgary is right there, fifth in the division, one point behind San Jose for the final wildcard spot in the West, two points ahead of Edmonton and five points ahead of the Vancouver Canucks. They are indeed 2-7-1 and one in their last 10, despite the fact that their goal differential numbers are honestly pretty good. 87 goals against is one of the best metrics in the entire West. In fact, yeah, no, they're number one in goals against in the West and tied for third overall in the entire NHL when it comes to goals against with the Boston Bruins behind the Islanders and the Hurricanes. But they're still doing poorly. They can't really get any offense. They've been losing their games. And now it's all of a sudden a little bit more difficult to see where things are heading because San Jose and LA have forced themselves into those playoff spots. In fact, it's an all-California-Nevada playoff race in the Pacific right now with the Golden Knights, the Ducks, the Kings, and the Sharks leading the way. It's kind of crazy how things work out that way at this point in the season, but alas, that is kind of what we have. There are some comments in here highlighting from Flames fans why the Flames being bad is not really being talked about. Because we've barely played, Triple 13 says, so people forget we exist. Also, most of our losses have been to the top teams in the East. We do have a lot of issues right now. We can't score outside our top line, and it's tough to win low-scoring games when we're dressing Nikita Zadorov. This user says here, because people expected us to be bad and were surprised when we were good. Now we're just headed to what everyone thought we were to start the season. We came back from a month off and got to play Seattle and Chicago to warm up, then three games on four days against Florida, Tampa, and Carolina, then we got five days off to get rusty again to play Ottawa, and now another four days off. And man, it kind of sucks that the Calgary Flames in their point production is not really consistent throughout the lineup, and is only really being carried by that top line, is it not? Could this Calgary Flames team use some depth when it comes to their scoring ability? Probably. And it's kind of frustrating because there is a guy that they just traded away that has really started to turn things on in that respect. We're talking about Sam Bennett of the Florida Panthers, too. Now, last night, the Florida Panthers had themselves a game against the Dallas Stars. They won 7-1. And Sam Bennett, 18-year-old Sam Bennett, as I remember this guy being named in the 2015 NHL playoffs, went out there and scored himself a hat-trick, getting his 12th, 13th, and 14th goals on the season. Those numbers are pretty significant, and we're talking about why in a little bit here. But going over the goals that Sam Bennett went out there and scored, the first goal on the power play to make it 5-0. Yeah, this is pretty late in the game right here. It's a nice play where Sam Bennett gets the puck in the corner, he comes out to the slot, and he shoots it, he scores it. Just a pretty good 
goal scorer's goal right there. The next goal came a few minutes later. It's at even strength instead of the power play. This one's a weird play where Duclair takes it into the corner. It bounces around. I think Huberto gets a stick on it too. And then after it bounces off a few Dallas Stars players, it pops out in front to Bennett, who takes it in the slot. He shoots it. He scores it. And then the final goal of the game for Sam Bennett was the third period marker giving him the hat trick. This one was a pretty good play as well. It's on the rush. Pretty nice give and go play with Duclair and Bennett. And Huberto gets his 37th assist on this one as well. My goodness. The guy's at 37 assists. That guy's so good, dude. But either way, his 37th assist on the year is good enough to give Sam Bennett the hat trick and give his 14th goal on the season, too. I did say the number was significant, and here's why. In the previous year's worth of play in Sam Bennett's career, he's only bested 14 goals one time. That was his rookie season where he had turned, I believe he was 19 in this year because his 18-year-old year was earlier on in 2015 in the playoffs. Yeah, that's kind of the case right there. As a 19-year-old, Sam Bennett went out there, had 77 games played, 36 points, and 18 total goals. That was his most productive season ever and it wasn't even really close. The next most productive season in terms of points was 2018-19, where he had 27 points in 71 games played, so his 36-point marker in 2015-16 was probably his best statistical year. He was just kind of in limbo the next few years in Calgary, getting consistent 26-point years, dropping off to getting 12 points in 52 games, 12 points in 38 games, and eventually getting traded to Florida, where he was over a point per game for the first time in his career. Now, that was a small sample size, and this season he isn't over a point per game. He's got 21 points in 28 games this year, but his 14-goal mark is good enough to be his second most productive goal season in his entire career. You gotta remember, this guy was drafted back in 2014. He's 25 years old now. He's had so much time in the NHL, and... The good majority of that time was spent in a Calgary system that didn't really get the best out of this player, nor did he really go out there and showcase the best four. Calgary needed to trade this guy due to an express desire for a change of scenery and just to try to salvage what they could get because the Sam Bennett experiment with the Calgary Flames just really wasn't working out. And now that he's on a better team, that is so gosh darn good. Florida is the top team in the NHL right now, pretty much. You talk about points, points percentage, goals, all that stuff. Florida is one of the best, if not the absolute best. And Sam Bennett is not... One of those guys when it comes to leading the charge. Take a look at this. Huberto has 51 points in 37 games. Ekblad has 32 points. Reinhardt has 29. Verhage 29. How the heck does Carter Verhage have 29 points? Barkov has 28. Duclair has 28. And Barkov and Lundell are tied with Mackenzie Weger for 7th on the team in points with 21 Bennett is not one of the top guys on the team in scoring. He is seventh on the team. Yet, he has still gone out there and really reaped the benefits of this fantastic hockey team coming together and producing the way that they have. He is a cog in the machine that is the Florida Panthers, and it's kind of funny because he was sort of supposed to be the cog in all those previous iterations of the Calgary Flames all those seasons ago. It's just now playing on a good team, he's had himself an ability to thrive. The hat trick yesterday cemented this season as one of the best, if not the absolute best, in his career. Do the math right here 21 divided by 28 multiplied out by 82. Sam Bennett on 82 games played is on pace for 60 points, which would be a career high by far. And so, Taking a look at the trade, which ultimately sent Bennett to the Florida Panthers, an ultimate sell-low move by the Flames when they acquired Emil Heinemann and a second-round pick. You just gotta laugh, man. Like, Calgary is doing so badly right now, and they're down in the dumps, they're losing games, yet Sam Bennett, the guy they traded away for such a small return, like, I'm sorry, Emil Heinemann, I think you're a good player, it's just, Sam Bennett, dude... Yeah, it's kind of frustrating to see if you're a Flames fan, although maybe it's not because I know a lot of people weren't really expecting the Calgary Flames to be this good anyway, or not this good, but like good enough to have themselves a good run at the start of the season, but who really knows? It is kind of frustrating though, I might assume, to see Sam Bennett thrive in the way that he is, although I have seen some, most Calgary Flames fans actually saying, yeah, 
We kind of screwed his development, so seeing him go out there in Florida doing well, it's a good thing. We're just happy to see him thriving because we weren't really able to allow him to do that here. But talk to me in the comments if you're a Calgary Flames fan. What do you think about Sam Bennett? What do you think about the way your team has been performing? Are you jealous? Are you upset? Are you kind of kicking yourselves in the behind for letting Sam Bennett go and allowing him to flourish in Florida? Or are you more of the perspective that you guys just didn't really work out and it's very nice to see him working out elsewhere? Talk to me in the comments. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.